Hello YouTube, Big Daddy Technology here with my son, Draven Technology. Hello. And today we're bringing you a video on um, how to replace stick RAM uh, for a desktop and how to replace a CPU in this, uh, this I believe to be an old HP desktop. I think it was a Pavilion Elite. It's, this is just an old board, old motherboard. So I'm not really worried about um, using my static wristband. But uh, if, if you were to do this, you would definitely need to use a uh, static precaution because this is really delving into the uh, innards of the computer. So what I want to show you first is how to remove this stick RAM and upgrade it. These are a little different than the video I had on the um, laptop. The laptops kind of just kind of fold in. These ones uh, actually have clips on the either side and they pull away and, and it kind of, they kind of pop up like a toaster pops up a pop tart <laughs> and uh, they come in these longer sticks, a lot longer. And as you can see, these are one gigabyte sticks. So that shows you how old this computer is because it only has four gigabytes of memory. And for um, a desktop PC, that's a very low amount. Um, these sticks are relatively cheaper than buying it for a laptop uh, and are more available. So I just want to show you a quick install on how to do it. And basically it's the same principle with these two spread wide open you look at the, the direction of the ram and the labels are all facing this way towards the left and we're going to slide this in at the top and then with this one all you do is kind of push down and it kind of clips itself in but then you can go ahead and secure it a little bit extra and it's very easy but i just wanted to make a little little um notation on how to do it in a desktop uh, now on to the main project we are gonna tear into this dinosaur which what you see on top is the fan the fan sets on top of the heat sink and the heat sink draws the heat from the CPU up and then the fan cools off the heat sink therefore keeping the CPU cold. So in order to get to this fan, we're gonna have to um, use a screwdriver to take. Yeah, this has a better bite on it. Yeah, you didn't call me Tech Boy Draven instead of calling me Draven Technology. Yeah, you have two names. Yeah. You're gonna be a tech man someday. Probably not, or yeah. I'm just gonna stick to this for right now. Yeah, you like the editing versions? I like this much better. Oh, you like just filming. So we're going to loosen all these screws up. That one's loose. It starts to give once they get loose. This one over here still feels like it's got a little play to it. These come right out of the board. Oh okay, yeah, I took this completely off. This this fan can be detached from the heat sink, but for now, I'm actually going to unclip this from the board. Focus on that, Draven. Right there. Get it focused. Okay. So that clip comes off. And that's the, for the power for the fan. And we're actually gonna get down to the... Nitty gritty? The nitty gritty down here. Okay. This is the CPU. Central processing unit of the computer. And you can see that there's a paste substance on it. That paste, which is also on the bottom of the heat sink. Heat sink's right here. Right there, driving. Um, that's called thermal paste which 
is used for the connectivity and, and uh, a seal, if you will, to seal the CPU unit to the heatsink for better connectivity. Now, we're going to need to get most of this off the best we can. And the way I always do it is to use a rag of sorts, which uh, gives us a nice wipe. Okay. Okay, once you get that wiped, get to the heart of this thing, that would be the CPU. And as you can see, there's a clip here. This clip has to be pushed down and pulled away. Okay, and that's how it comes up. And this contraption folds back, which takes the pressure off of this piece. And then you're able to flip it right open. Dun, 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 dun. And there's our CPU. Let me pull this bad boy out. Bring it up to the camera. This is your CPU. Really dun, old. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, really old. Let's see if we can get a better focus. It's so ancient. Yeah, it's an old one. It is. Intel. Intel Core 2 Quad. Quad core processor, not that old. And uh, it's running at 2.66 gigahertz. So you flip it over. Gigahertz. That's the part that always faces down. Yeah, it does. Okay. So I'm going to clean this up a little bit more with our rag. And just the edges. Get this thermal paste off of it. Is taking this. And the way you know the CPU is going in the right direction is by these notches. There's two notches on the outside edge. And that's your indicator on where and how the CPU fits in. Now I've got some dust down in here, which I'm gonna need to get my dust duster can, air duster. Will you, Trayvon, will you go grab my duster can? It's in the kitchen. All right. Wow, we're doing two jobs. Like yeah, good job tech boy. Okay. Do you want to do it, Draven? Okay, sure. okay so what you're yeah, going to do, sir. tech boy, oh. well, there goes the camera. So you're going to blow it, actually blow it towards me. Um, this, this closed, hold on a second. Blow down in this crack towards me, so go ahead, keep it upright, go ahead, blow. Pull it hard. There you go. Very good. There's Draven helping with the air duster, and I got that little piece of lint out. You're welcome for helping. <laughs> Thank you for helping. Okay, let's get you repositioned. All right, now it's time to get this put back together for the viewers. Okay. So, like I said, you go off of the notches. I still need to. One second. Still a little smudge of arc silver on here. Don't forget to leave a like on this video. <laughs> okay. It's normal. See this bottom notch? You see it fits in over here perfectly? There you go. That's your indicator. That's how the CPU goes back in. There's two notches and it fits in. Now we're going to close the, um, the bay. And then this part will come fold back down around, putting pressure on the CPU against the board. And this hooky, hooky do goes underneath this clip. It takes a little bit of force to get it in. Okay, so here's our heat sink, which it still has some leftover residue on, which I'm going to give it a quick wipe. I wonder if this thing can still work. 
if you if you if we oh yeah it definitely could still work it's just um taking the time to put it back together and finding a buyer yeah question for the viewers <laughs> okay this stuff right here is the thermal paste i use it's called dun -da -da -dum. can we get focused traven i'll try I'll try to focus it should let it go it's probably there it is arctic silver number five and you just want to go very lightly with this stuff a little bit goes a long way i just put maybe the size of a teardrop if you would Okay, Maybe a little bit more than a teardrop. Like, that's like, it. Like a dot of glue. <laughs> like a dot almost, yep. Yeah, that's I'll good. use my brand new spudger and just spread it around. Yeah, just spread it around. Spread, Not that spread, much spread. Though. Don't spread it down. Not that much. And then you gotta remember when you put the heat sink back on, it's gonna spread it even even further. I might put just a small little dollop 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 more. A dollop more. <laughs> There we go, a little dollop more. And just spread it around. Spread it, spread it, spread it. Okay. Now we're gonna put the heat sink back. And Remember it goes. You gotta remember how it goes, so. Pull it out, pull it out, drain it a little bit. Keep your eye on it. That's what yeah, you definitely wanna go. Um, partial screw on each side you don't want to do a full screw in until you make sure you have all four of your posts um, started and then once you see you got all four started the last one you do you can go in almost the whole way with Now we got to remember to plug our fan back in, which our fan was. Try to do this by hand. Yeah. Got it. Got it. All right there. Now we're gonna plug our fan back in into this post right here. Okay. So I would have liked to clean the fan up a little bit more. But that's another day, another project. I just wanted to show you how to get to the CPU, um, remove the heat sink from it, show you the pin configuration on the bottom of it, and how to use Arctic Thermal Paste to put it all back together. And in my next video, which I'm trying to get video capture software on my computer so I can start showing you the networking uh, portion of my tutorials which will include setting up a router correctly but thanks again for watching us yeah. uh, this is big daddy signing off make sure to like and subscribe and this is tech boy draven signing off have a great day bye bye